Kalex is loving the AT&T guys boxes. Okay. So behind me, though you can't tell, is a polar eclipse. And let's see if I could put the glasses on. And unfortunately, it's almost completely over. <laughs> you lived in North America, hopefully you were able to see that. It was pretty lame. I had to do my student patient case where they grade us on how we can perform the neuro exam on patients. And the neuro exam just happens to be one of the hardest exams to give to a patient. So I will let you know how that goes. Obviously I'm very tired and don't want to be here. We are now in all of our white coats getting ready to go through that door and talk to the patients. So I just finished and the good news is I'm getting better and better. All threes. All threes, which means that I'm acting like a doctor and I'm sounding like a doctor, but I uh, I did not do very well like over here. Like um, on the back page, they tell you if you did a, a certain part of the physical exam that you were supposed to, and I may have missed a few, maybe five, six, seven, but we're learning, and that's what it's all about. Uh, but I passed each of them. I think they're pass fail. If they're not, then this is concerning. But I don't think they are. So yay! Got to go home and do other chores in my life. <laughs> Just found out that Oreos are vegan. So I double stuffed Oreos. Should I? Good morning, everybody. I am dressed in my scrubs and white coat because I am part of this video committee at my school where we have to create an introduction video for the inter interviewees. So I have to act in a video today, basically. And I'm all dressed up for it, even though I really don't have a reason to be wearing a white coat or scrubs. It's really hot right now, so I'm really hot. And of course, Kalix making his guest celebrity appearance. <laughs> and let's go to school, guys. Okay guys, so I'm done with school. We learned all about the cerebellum and pathways in the brain and whatnot. But now I am getting ready to go to Austin. I'm going to finish the blondness. Like I know my hair looks really nice right now and I don't really know why I'm going to the second appointment, but to, to go blonde, it took two steps. And the first step was really good, but I think I want to go a little bit lighter since it is still kind of dark in certain places. And also my roots are kind of thick, so I'm going to shorten the roots and go a little blonder, and hopefully it looks good. Okay, so here is the before. It's very pretty. Honestly, don't even know what I'm doing. I like it so much. Why am I here? I already made this appointment, so let's just, let's just do this. Okay, so I am back. And, oh, like, the whole point of this appointment was to finish everything. And I wanted to get my roots to look like, like, not roots. Not obviously huge, abrupt endings into brown hair. And I feel like I still have that. It's like blonde, it's like a, it's like brownish blonde right here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and I just feel like... I don't even know why I went, because this is, like, I feel like my hair looks exactly the same. One thing about cats, they don't give a brat's booty what your hair looks like. They just want to play all day long. Watching no lectures, peaches make the pain go away. I'm talking about the ear, and I have no idea what my lecturer is talking about. That's it. Two minute neuroscience, where I simplistically explain neuroscience topics in two minutes or less. Ah, much better. I just had to film in that introduction video for our school outside. It is so hot. Honestly, I think it's way hotter than 100 degrees. So right now it is 12.55 and I'm just now getting home because I was talking to my dude. 
for four hours. We were fighting about something really, really stupid, and it took four hours to kind of talk through things. And it's just like, that's time I could have spent watching lectures or doing pre-readings. And obviously I would have rather spent it working things out with that person, but it just kind of makes me think that being in a relationship and being a cat owner <laughs> is so much effort and time that you don't even get to put on your resume. Walking to this eight o'clock quiz like. Okay, it's officially Friday. This is the last day of Neuro. Uh, so, and then next week will be study week. So, so exhausted, if you can't tell. Officially done with the last day of Neuro. I have to say, I really love this module, and I really hope I find a specialty in this module. So I think people overestimate how much people can make on YouTube. It's really not that much. So I have begun my work study at this museum at, in my city, and I'm going to be in a medical student that teaches kids all about anatomy. So it, it's a little work study thing that I can do to make some extra money every month. A lot of y'all ask about working in medical school and it's really not recommended and if you're in a work study program I think with the cap it's like 80 hours or so a semester. I can't wait to work here. So thank you everyone for watching another video with me. I'm sorry that this video was a little bit short, but next week I will be tackling my final exam for neurology and also a hurricane is coming towards South Texas. So wish me luck on both of those things. It definitely will be study weather. Calyx says hi and good luck on all your studies. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.